And this morning, we're asking our local county executives what they're seeing in their neighborhoods. Yeah, so let's begin this morning in Westchester County, a little north of New York City, with County Executive George Latimer. So good to see you, Mr. Latimer. Thanks for being here. Good morning. So Thanks for your reporting today. Of course. So obviously the snow is starting to let up in some areas, right? So how are you doing up there in Westchester County right now? Because we saw big, big problems earlier in the week with that ice. Well, we're seeing uh, four plus inches of snow in most places, which is not, uh, you know, a horrific amount. Uh, you know, we deal with uh, bigger snowstorms in the New York metropolitan area as the winter goes along. Uh, all of our roads are open. I don't know which particular one you're showing there, but uh, most of them are, are reasonably clear. But I think you are correct. Uh, in identifying. Just drive slowly, give yourself plenty of time. Uh, there have been plenty of minor accidents, uh, but they've been cleared up as they've occurred. And uh, we have the county police out on our parkways and, uh, and on the interstate highways, the state troopers. The airport, Westchester County Airport is open. Uh, okay. Some of the carriers have canceled flights. So anyone who's either uh, flying out of Westchester County or picking somebody up should call ahead, check the carrier and see what's up. Our bus system, the V-Line bus system, uh, which carries a lot of riders every day, has experienced some delays. Certain streets are less uh, easy to navigate than others, uh, but the bus system is running. And uh, school districts are off and on. Some are open, some are closed, some are remote, some are delays. It's all over the ballpark. I do want to highlight that we have vaccination and testing for COVID at the Westchester County Center, and that's a delayed opening today until 1030. Good for anybody who may have an appointment or may be planning to stop by. No power outages to this point that we're aware of in the county. Yeah, so I mean, glad to hear that things are going very well, especially with the cleanup. Uh, did you have any issues with any staffing issues because of uh, COVID sick outs? Well, we have. We've, we have a number of personnel who are out on COVID protocols. And uh, what we do, obviously, is is use the rest of the uh, personnel on overtime, which, you know, stresses them and also stresses our budget. But uh, we're able to put enough crews out there to do the cleanup that we have to do as a county government and enough police officers, the county police officers out on the highways to monitor it. But, you know, it's difficult. Omicron mm -hmm. has uh, really exploded in the number of people that have been infected. And even if it's a mild case, you still have to, you know, go off the grid for 10 yeah. days. Yeah. And that's a problem. Yeah, we're showing Central yeah. Adam Yonkers, by the way, right now. That's what these live images are right there. We're doing a pretty good job getting those roads down to pretty much blacktop. But just to clarify what we're saying here in terms of getting people on the roads if they need to drive because of the staffing issues, you're obviously going main roads first. People who live on side streets and things like that ask for a little patience here. Right, now that's pretty much the story. And we also have some topography along the Hudson River, the western side of Westchester County. You've got hilly uh, uh, areas that lead down to the river. And those are the hardest to get to. So if you're waiting for a public bus on one of those roads, uh, there'll be snow routes rather than the main routes. Most people who live in those areas know that, but we're trying to you know, make accommodations. And I think as your weather reported, by 10 o'clock, we think this is pretty much going to lift and we'll be uh, heading back to normal. Any reminders that you have for business owners or maybe residents about the snow clear up outside uh, their homes or their businesses? Well, we're all responsible, me too, in the house uh, that I'm in. Uh, we're all responsible for shoveling our walks, and we should do that. And I think as soon as the snow stops, uh, we have a certain window of time to be able to do that. And then also, again, just to use common sense, mm -hmm. this is not a time to uh, uh, speed. This is not a time to leave yourself just the minimum amount of time to get to wherever yeah. your destination is. Give yourself plenty of time. Drive slow. You'll get there, and we'll go forward. All right, good to see you this morning. Westchester County Executive George Latimer, appreciate your time this morning, and thanks to all the crews doing the hard work this morning. And thank you for your reporting. We appreciate it. Always.